I want to explain to you folks, these baseballs, they get rubbed up with mud. When mud dries out, it becomes dry dirt. Okay, and there's nothing for the pitcher to use to be able to grab that ball and get a grip on it. So the rosin bag that's on the back of the mound that tells you, oh, you can use that to grip. The rosin bag is actually out there to remove moisture from a player's hand, not to enhance grip. So when you see guys lick their hands, that's to create a little bit of moisture so that they can grip the baseball. If you've got moisture on your hands, just use that. It doesn't work that way, folks. If it did, we'd never have rosin. We'd never have pine tar. But we know that it doesn't work that way as an industry, which is why the hitters have batting gloves, pine tar, sticky spray, moda sticks. They've got four or five different options to help enhance their ability to grip their tool. The pitchers have a dusty satchel on the back of the mound to help them get a grip on a baseball. All right, guys, there's a lot to unpack there from that very passionate speech from Don Spraden. He was a former Oakland Athletics pitcher who actually went through a perfect game. But the funny thing is, is that as soon as he retired, he came out, uh, did a publicity tour and pretty much told the world that he used foreign substance and pine tar to cheat. Pretty much admitting he cheated. I'll play that for you guys right now, in fact. Okay, now let's talk about the points that he brought up. I don't like that this is being enforced so quickly. I've said that since the beginning. I said it a month ago that I think they should wait till the All-Star game. It's an adequate amount of time for the pitchers to adapt to the new circumstances. You're not going to see the injuries. They have six weeks at that point to adapt to the new league rules that are being implemented. But with every other thing that Dallas said, I, I totally disagree. Um, pine tar does not make hitters 30% better at hitting. It doesn't allow them to hit pitches they've never hit before. Um, it doesn't give them an incredible amount of confidence to do anything they want at any point in the game. It's just not even close to the same thing. A 34-ounce bat that you're swinging as hard as you can, you need to hold on to that. That's a different physical action than throwing a 5-ounce baseball. Okay, So his arguments just don't make any sense. And the control argument is not a good control argument either because hit by pitch is so through the roof this year and I've caught guys using foreign substance who've hit guys in the face. So that's not a great argument. 